So, five months after the Cayo Perico Heist release in December last year, Rockstar has finally released the Panther statue in GTA Online today, alongside the Podium Vehicle update this morning, as for test funds too. And this is just a quick guide for you guys, showing you how to finally get this target in the heist. Now, to start us off, make your way to GTA Online, and if you already have an active Cayo Perico heist started, with the primary target already scoped out, you can either cancel that, or go ahead and finish it if you don't want to lose the progress you've already made on the heist. Now, I just cancelled my active heist as I wasn't that far ahead on it anyways, but after you cancel it, you want to make your way over to Pavel on your Kasatka and launch a brand new heist through the heist planning screen. Now go ahead and launch the gathering intel prep mission and make your way over to the plane capture point. Now, as per usual prep gathering missions, Go ahead and fly over to the Cayo Perico entry point on the map and make your way to the tower for the first hack to gain access to the security cameras on El Rubio's compound. Now guys, I recommend to immediately go to the vault camera and check to confirm you are getting the Panther statue here. As confirmed by Test Funds 2, this is a one-time only loot similar to the Madrazo files you get when you do the heist for the first time. So if you restarted your heist and you don't see the panther statue here, I would just find a brand new session, cancel the heist again, and start up a new one. But with the update, I'm pretty sure everyone will be getting it on their first try, as it's a one-time loot and Rockstar likely wants everyone to be able to complete it to get the achievement for looting all potential primary targets in the Cayo Perico heist. Now, I've already made some videos discussing the behavior of the Panther statue, and it looks like it will not be acting like the Diamonds did in the Casino Heist, recurring every so often with the weekly update, and it's more so a one-time loot entirely for the Cayo Perico Heist. Now, since this has only come out this morning, I will be making a guide on how to solo loot the max possible loot in the heist, including secondary targets, and dropping that tutorial pretty soon. But if you guys want to hold off on getting the statue right now and completing the heist, I personally would recommend that as well. As it is a one-time loot, so if you want to make sure you take home as much loot as possible when running the heist, that makes a lot more sense to me. Aside from that, go ahead and check right now in your game and try to scope out this panther statue. I know it looks a little bit blurry on screen, but Pavel will explain the target as a shiny target covered in diamonds, pretty much letting you know that you got the panther statue. When you make your way back to the Kusatka, you will see the panther statue on your planning screen with its normal value at 1.9 million and if running the heist on hard mode, 2.1 million. Aside from that, if this video was helpful for you guys, like the video and subscribe for more videos on GTA Online and the Cayo Perico Heist. If you made it to the end of today's video, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, it's been Nick Plays Games, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!